So for the past couple of years, I've been doing sessions about how to use Zotero to capture references and insert them as citations. And I've recently changed my own workflows. I'm now also using Zotero to arrange papers I've collected and also take notes on them. So I wanted to quickly walk through that workflow um, because I think it would be pretty quite useful for a lot of people. Now, all the software I'm using for this is free, which is very civilized actually. So it'll be Zotero, which is obviously freely downloadable, the Zotero browser plugin, the Zotero Word plugin, although you can also use LibreOffice or Google Docs, um, Zotfile, which is a Zotero extension, and that's, that's it for Zotero. I'll also be using Foxit Reader to do annotations, and then I guess the, uh, the word processing is the last part. So obviously Word is not free, but again, you can use LibreOffice. And so to start off with then, the first part will be gathering the file, um, it'll then be noting, extracting references and notes, and finally citing. And so of course, here we are at Google Scholar, and I'm going to capture the reference, okay? So this is a fantastic paper I read recently, and I'm deeply in love with it, but I can't say their name. So I'm hoping that the use of the paper makes up for that fact. And so you'll see that I've actually got the Tarot Browser plugin on my Firefox here. Um, it will look slightly different depending on the kind of page you're on, when you're on a Google Scholar page, it'll be a little folder and it'll let you select which of the things on the page you want to capture into your library. Um, if you're on a web page, it'll be like a little page and so on and so forth. So I'm going to click the button to save it to Zotero and I'm going to select that I want to save just the first one, which is Compassion Magnifies the Third Party Punishment. And so that's going to save to my Zotero library. Um, I'm also going to grab the abstract because one thing that Zotero doesn't automatically import is the abstract. So I'm just going to copy paste that. Um, but I can see that it's now in Zotero, so I'm going to switch windows over to there and we'll check out what it looks like. Okay, hopefully I've got that right. Okay, so I'm now over in Zotero after a small technical pitch, um, and I can see that the file has been automatically imported, okay? So I can see the full details from the journal and what have you. I'm going to paste in that abstract, okay? So the abstract is there as well. All looks pretty good, complete information is there. I got it from Google Scholar, sweet. I can also see that I've collected a snapshot of the page where I picked up the file, as well as the file itself. And I've set up files that they automatically rename um, with the authors, and then year and then titles. That's quite civilized as well, I think. And so the next thing then is gonna be switching over to Foxit Reader, where I'm going to open this file and do some highlighting. And don't judge me, I highlight like a fiend. Okay, so here I am in Foxit Reader, where obviously I've already judged this paper as A plus amazing. And you'll see I've gone through and selected, again, I do highlight like a fiend, um, selected whatever, I clicked highlight, and that's all done there. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with my first read through on this. Um, and then later, <laughs> later I will delete some of the highlights, but that's it for now, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna switch back to Zotero and we'll have a little look at what things are like there. Okay, so I'm back in Zotero with my lovely annotated file and there's a few different things I'm gonna do. Now, I mentioned earlier that one of the extensions I'm using in Zotero is called Zotfile and that does some super cool stuff. And so one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this document that I've annotated. I'm gonna go down to Manage Attachments and I'm gonna go Extract Annotations. Um, by which it means all of the things I've highlighted, okay? And so Zotero is going to think away at that, and because I highlight a lot of things, there might be a slight pause, so I'm going to pause the recording as well. Okay, so it took about 20, 30 seconds, but still better than me talking the whole time. And you can see it's created this file here called Extracted Annotations, all captured within that citation still, so it's all found under your citation data. 
And I can see extracted annotations and everything that I've highlighted is actually in there. Um, so it's all being extracted as quotes, including the location information for each quote, which is pretty handy for citation purposes. But I mean, there's a couple other things I can do. I mean, one is I can add notes directly here. Um, I like this quote, all right. Um, although at the moment, actually what I'm doing is I'm doing separate notes. I, I don't know why either. Um, so I've just used my shortcut keys, but you can hit new child note. And I can say um, key, um, uh, key points, blah, 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 all right. Um, and I'm gonna say flip over, okay? And I'm, that's gonna become apparent in a second, all right. So I'm done there with my notes, all right. Fair enough, how does this help me? Well, firstly, one of the uh, most useful things is that now you can actually search. I'm, I've, just, I've just searched for Flippo and you'll see that my actual citations come up. So if I have a set of ideas, um, you know, including whatever phrase, whatever concept, I can just search that concept and every related paper um, or citation will come up. All right. So quite handy. So especially if you're searching for a theme, you're like, well, where did I read about anger and revanchism. And so if you put in anger and revanchism and related papers that you've read will come up, okay? So it's much easier to remember who to cite. And I mean, I can't remember a proper noun to save my life. So for me, that's really helpful. Um, so that, that's one of the things. I mean, you can also add tags and related documents. I'm not gonna do that here because I think it's a little bit off topic. But I mean, one more thing I will show you while we're still within Zotero and we're still playing with this um, is creating reports. Okay, because it's all very well to have all this data, have all your notes, um, and then uh, <laughs> search for them. But I really like to occasionally print out my notes. Okay, so I feel very guilty confessing that, but such it is. And so what I'm going to do, and I'm not sure, because I'm recording using Zoom, I'm not sure if this will share properly, but I'll give it a go. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my, um, my little citation here, which collects everything below it. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say generate report from item. And I'm going to see if I just share that separately. Okay. And so this report pops up and you can see there I've got the article, the abstract, all quite handy, um, all the annotations and notes. <laughs> I really do do a lot of highlights. Okay. But you don't have to do that just for one document. You can do it for a whole set of documents. Oh, and I've just accidentally stopped sharing screens. So I'm going to go back to the tarot. All right, so say for example that I wanted to file this away and I'm going to file it away. I'm going to put it in my little folder system on the left hand side um, because compassion is a specific emotion. So I'm going to pop it into my folder, specific emotions. I can put it in other places as well. All right, um, you can always check which folders you've popped it in by clicking on citation and holding down control. This is on a Windows, obviously. Okay, so you can see where you filed it so you're not going too crazy. All right, so now that I know what specific emotions, I actually want to, I've only got two things in there, but I want to create a report based on this folder, right? And so then all I do is again, right click on the folder, generate report from collection, and I have to go new share again. All right, and now you can see that I've got both of these, both of these papers with their notes um, associated with them. <laughs> I just realized, anyway, I can print them, I can save them, I can do whatever I would like with them. Okay, so that's really handy. So that, but that's basically the, the note portion of things, right? And that's all, that's all great. Um, but we also want to use these citations at some point, right? And so that's that part where I'm gonna switch over to Word. Okay, so I'm over here in Word now and you'll see that I've installed the Zotero plugin. Um, I will give a list of all these things again at the end so you know what to install to get this done. Um, but most of it is actually installed when you first download Zotero anyway, so you should be okay. And so I can put in whatever text and you want to cite it. Sweet. Now, I realise this, again, might not pop up properly on Zoom recording of screen sharing. So I'm going to just talk through what I'm doing. So I've already selected my document preferences for this. And I said Chicago style, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I now want to add a citation. So I'm going to click the little button, which crazily enough says add or edit citation. And a little window pops up with a Zotero search bar. And I'm going to type in compassion because the name of my paper that I was looking at was called compassion. All right, sweet. So, uh, but I'm not ready to insert it yet. I might select a page number. I'm going to say it's in page 217, which is super arbitrary. Okay. 
um, and then I'm going to hit enter. And you'll see that my citation is there and correctly formatted. I might also throw in a bibliography, because who doesn't need a bibliography for, for one uh, style of, uh, uh, for one item rather. Okay, and that's all done there and correctly formatted. But then maybe I change my mind about my, my citation style and I'm going to switch to, let's go APA. Okay, and you can see that it's automatically reformatted again into APA and I can keep doing that. I can keep switching file, uh, citation styles however much I like. Um, and everything will be happy and dandy. So that's, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, cool. Um, but I think that is it. So again, like the things you will need, this is, I've just changed to another style as well with footnotes. Okay, so again, the things you will need for this are Zotero, which you can download from zotero.org. And you will need the browser and web plugins or LibreOffice, if that's what you're using. That's where I can normally type. Um, you'll also want to download the extension Dot file. Okay, so on Zotero, on the website, you will find, we should just be able to search that actually. In fact, I've just checked and it's at zotfile.com as Zotero is at zotero.org. Okay, um, and then Firefox Reader, I'm pretty sure you can download, <laughs> sorry, not Firefox, uh, oh my goodness, Foxit Reader, sorry, I've been calling it Firefox this whole time. I mean, Foxit Reader, you can download for free as well. So I use Firefox for browser and Foxit Reader to do my annotations. But that is it. So I hope that is helpful. Good luck in your Sotero journey.